Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, one additional maybe. Um, as if the board members, if they could just say that they're here as they join, um, it would be easier to uh, find them in the list. We have a large number of people on the call today. Richard Davis is here. Frederick Schaefer. Yeah. Here, Ian Spratt. So that's all. That's all four. That okay. Good. All right. Well, uh, good morning uh, and uh, welcome to the uh, April 15th, 2021 meeting of the New York City Campaign Finance Board. Uh, the first item of business on our agenda uh, is the approval of the minutes from the April 1st uh, meeting. Uh, I moved their their approval. Is there a second? Second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Uh, motion carries. Uh, the next item of business is the uh, 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 report of the chair. Um, so on today's agenda, the board will uh, vote on uh, recommended public matching funds payments um, to candidates in the 2021 election cycle. To date, the board has issued... Uh, board frozen. ...a million dollars in public funds to 200 candidates running for city office. Those public funds. So Rick, can you back up to to date? Sorry, thank you. Uh, I'm afraid my connection is not great. To date, the board has issued more than forty-eight million dollars in public funds to two hundred candidates running for public office. These public funds help more New Yorkers run for city office and give city voters more choices at the polls. To be eligible for the eight to one match. Candidates must demonstrate that they have support from city residents by meeting a two-part fundraising threshold. Today's payments are recommended based on each campaign's disclosure statements provided on March 15th, including all activity through March 11th. Later this month, on April 26th, is the deadline for candidates to join the public financing program. Any candidate interested in receiving matching funds must certify for the program by this date. And in addition to the vote on payments, the board will vote on alleged violations for one campaign from the 2017 elections during today's meeting. These determinations mark the end of the post-election review process for this candidate. I also want to acknowledge a petition we received from city council candidate Rebecca Lamort. The petition, which has been signed by over 70 candidates, calls for the board to exempt costs for language translation, ASL interpretation, and other accessibility measures from campaign expenditure limits. In a letter responding to the petition last week, I wrote that the Campaign Finance Act does not provide for such exemptions currently, and the board does not have the legal authority You've frozen again. Some. Rick, could the you board, you? I'm sorry. The board does not yes, have the Thank you. Right. Uh, I'll start at the beginning. In a letter responding to the petition last week, I wrote that the Campaign Finance Board does not provide for such. And the board does not have legal authority to change the law. It is the board's view that policy solutions must be carefully considered so that they are equitable constructed in a manner that does not impose burdens on campaigns and are not available only to candidates who can raise private contributions above and beyond the program's expenditure limits. Fortunately, there is a process for amending the city's campaign finance law. After each citywide election, the board conducts a thorough review of the program and its effect on New York City campaigns. That includes an opportunity for the public to provide comments to the board. Changes to the act, as legislated by the city council, often grow out of this pr review process. The board will consider recommendations to amend the act that address the very important issues highlighted by candidate Lamort's petition as part of our regular post-election review. That concludes my report for today. Now I will turn it over to executive director Amy Lowpressed. 
Thank you, Chair Schaefer. Um, I have just a brief, I know people have been waiting a long time. Uh, I have a brief uh, statement. The, uh, the CFB staff launched a new registration and communication tool called the portal. The portal will allow campaigns to access all of their campaign compliance and audit mailings, make changes to contact information and bank account information online, and in future elections will allow candidates and political committees to register completely online. Um, all active committees will need to create an account and link their existing CFB committees. This is particularly important since yesterday we posted audit statement reviews for candidates who filed the March 15th disclosure statement and will also issue public funds determination letters today via the portal. If you're an active candidate, treasurer, or campaign liaison, please check your emails from the past couple of days and also consult with your candidate services liaisons with any questions or any issues. Uh, I want to thank all the staff, which was a large number of staff who worked to create this new tool and got it off the ground. Thank you. The next item of our of business on our agenda today is a vote on uh, 2021 payments. Uh, before uh, I ask uh, Executive Director Lowprest uh, to uh, detail uh, those payments and then ask the board to vote on them, uh, I'd like to make the following statement. The board is deferring its decision today on whether to pay public funds to the Donovan campaign for mayor, but it has not made a determination on public funds payments nor on whether there has been a violation. The board is seeking further information in this matter from the Donovan campaign and from New Start NYC, and we'll review that information promptly. Uh, Ms. Lopez, would you go forward now with the uh, payments? Yes, thank you very much, Chair Schaefer. Today, the board is considering public funds payments to candidates based on campaign finance disclosures submitted on March 15th. The staff is recommending payments to 159 candidates today, totaling $23,365,739. With the approval of today's recommended payments, the board will have issued more than $72 million to candidates in the 2021 election. CFB staff recommends that the board approve public funds payments to the following candidates. Six candidates for mayor, Eric Adams, $317,295. Catherine Garcia, $2,265,561. Diane Morales, 2,247,681. Scott Stringer, 589,230. Maya Wiley, 906,437. Andrew Yang, 3,724,112. Five candidates for controller. Brian Benjamin, 274,506. Zachary Iskall, 525,019. Corey Johnson, 3,846,444 dollars. Brad Lander, 465,204 dollars. David Weprin, 140,115. 20 candidates for borough president. In Brooklyn, four candidates. Robert Kernegi, 190,246. Carrie Edwards, 60,771. Antonio Reneso, 209,937. Joanne Simon, 386,933. In Manhattan, five candidates. Lindsay Boylan, 92,796. Elizabeth Caputo, 109,579. Brad Hoyleman, 201,522. Benjamin Kalos, 126,499. Mark Levine, 9,221. In Queens, three candidates. Elizabeth Crowley, 507,893. Donovan Richards, 56,726. Jimmy Van Bramer, 62,578. In Staten Island, four candidates. Lorraine Honor, 222,026. Stephen Matteo, 
70,945. Mark Murphy, 171,213. Letitia Romero, 30,552. And in the Bronx, four candidates. Fernando Cabrera, 210,786. Natalia Fernandez, 69,350. Vanessa Gibson, 140,476. Luis Sepulveda, 223,356. And 128 city council candidates. In District 1, Susan Lee, 43,814. Gigi Lee, 166. In District 3, Leslie Bogosian Murphy, 21,014. Phelan Dante Fitzpatrick, 23,264. Marnie Halasa, 5,753. Olita Lafarge, 17,100. Arthur Schwartz, 36,267. Rebecca Lamort, 37,084. Christopher, Christopher Sosa, 8,793. In District 6, Gail Brewer, 160,444. Maria Dan Zillow, 160,444. David Gold, 16,948. In District 7, Sean Abreu, $95. Stacy Lynch, $48,853. Lena Melendez, 5,130. Corey Ortega, 10,925. Raymond Sanchez, 129,078. Luis Tejada, 4,788. In District 8, Diana Ayala, 39,349. In District 9, Cordell Clear, 42,484. Joshua Clennon, 26,494. Billy Council, 41,306. I'm just going to correct myself. I just think I might have said the wrong number for Cordell Clear. I'm just going to correct the record and say for it was $42,484. Uh, Ruth McDaniels, 46,413. Athena Moore, 99,552. Keith Taylor, 23,651. In District 10, Jose Perez, uh, I'm sorry, Jos Josue Perez, 33,820. In District 14, Fernando Aquino, 17,632. Haile Rivera, 129,923. Socrates Solano, 190. Yildelka Tapia, 5,130. In District 16, Eve Phileas, 91,299. Althea Stevens, 14,478. In District 18, Michael Belzer, 10,617. Darlene Jackson, 47,268. Mohammed Mujumdar, sorry for mispronouncing your name, $95. In District 19, Tony Avella, 1,923. Adriana Avias, 4,157. Nabaraj KC, 69,981. Vicky Palladino, 36,404. John Alexander Sakalos, 88,897. In District 20, Nen Yang, Nen Wang, sorry, $1,450. Dao Yin, 84,003. Ellen Young, 160,444. In District 21, Ingrid Gomez, 14,303. Francisco Moya, 149,379. Talea Wufka, 5,708. 
in District 22. Katerina Joyina, 40,037. Felicia Kalan, 63,779. Nicholas Velkov, 16,682. In District 23, Sanjeev Jindal, 41,154. Deborah Markle, 31,700. Harpreet, Harpreet Tor, 50,016. In District 24, Mamida Ahmed, 52,569. James Gennaro, 138,107. Safir Khan, 38,798. Muhammad Uden, 5,358. In District 25, Fatima Bariab, 1,512. Liliana Mello, 46,679. Alfonso Quiroas, 58,482. Carolyn Tran, 68,328. In District 26, Jonathan Bailey, 54,104. Lorenzo Brea, 190. Julia Foreman, 31,616. Glennis Gomez, 32,778. Denise Kean Smith, 31,312. Badron Khan, 31,046. Hejin Kim, 13,467. Jesse Lamone, 2,364. Brent O'Leary, 14,014. Emily Sharp, 9,310. Ebony Young, 29,165. In District 27, Marie Adam Ovid, 15,631. Carrie Ann Burke, 16,583. Renee Hill, 15,214. El Hassan Canoe, 12,061. Harold Miller, 75,890. Natasha Williams, 261. In District 28, Adrian Adams, 143,534. In District 29, Alita Gagarin, 3,382. Eliseo Labayan, 30,286. Douglas Shapiro, 1,170. Edwin Wong, 70,938. In District 32, Joanne Ariola, 109,516. Michael Scala, 4,720. Halal Sheikh, 30,742. Kenichi Williams, 2,630. In District 33, Victoria Cambranas, 8,550. Stuart Sherman, 31,160. Benjamin Solitaire, 5,966. April Sambon, 26,440. In District 34, Jennifer Gutierrez, 2,630. In District 35, Curtis Harris, 6,924. Michael Hollingsworth, $2. Regina Kinsey, 42,277. In District 36, Tahira Moore, 7,714. Robert Waterman, 26,902. In District 37, Dharma Diaz, 18,696. Rick Echeverria, 75,886. In District 38, Yu Lin, 62,586. Jacqueline Painter, 26,524. Cesar Zunga, Zuniga, I'm sorry, 160,444. In District 39, Bridget Rain, 5,510. 
in District 40, Cecilia Cortez, 190. Blake Morris, 15,139. In District 42, Charles Barron, 8,436. Wilfredo Florentino, 9,074. Nikki Lucas, 47, excuse me. In District 45, Anthony Beckford, 68,218. In District 46, Donald Cranston, 1,338. Judy Newton, 160,349. R. Dimple Willibus, 4,826. In District 47, Ari Kagan, 11,020. In District 48, Benjamin Bendet, 104,090. Maria Mark, 49,310. Boris Noble, 33,442. Ina Vernikov, 74,123. In District 49, Selena Gray, 7,144. Camilla Hanks, 3,093. Troy McGee, 42,492. Ronte Ongula, Ongulea, 16,659. Michael Schnall, 35,819. In District 50, Saul Albanese, 18,673. David Carr, 25,620. Marco Kepi, 160,444. Sam Perizzolo, 6,764. George Wanica, 13,205. In District 51, Joseph Borelli, 28,462. Olivia Dropsick, 43,107. Thank you. I move the approval of the uh, aforementioned uh, payments. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The motion carries. <clears throat> the next item of business on our agenda uh, is a vote on uh, penalties uh, relating uh, to a uh, 2017 campaign. Uh, the candidate uh, was Diana Ayala, uh, who was a candidate for city council district number eight. The board proposes to find the following violations and impose the following penalties. One, failing to demonstrate compliance with cash receipts reporting and documentation requirements. $339. Two, failing to report transactions in daily pre-election disclosure statements, $250, for total uh, penalties of $589. Uh, I move the approval of those, uh, finding of those violations and those penalties. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? The motion carries. Uh, I will now move that we uh, go into executive session. We have some things to discuss, but no business to transact. And so my motion will include a motion to adjourn uh, directly uh, from the executive session. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Uh, the motion carries. Thank you. Uh, business is completed. Um, I. I I'm sorry, I just want to, before I, I, I was pointed out to me that I made a, a mistake. And so I, I don't, I think the board might just need to vote. I said someone's name wrong. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I, in District 32, I said Kenichi Williams uh, instead of Kenichi Wilson. Uh, the board had the entire payment report. And so when they voted, they knew which candidate, uh, notwithstanding my uh, mis slip of tongue. Do we need to vote? We may have lost Rick. I, we yeah, just... I, I don't think we need to vote again because the board had the complete and accurate list and it's just my slip of tongue. I just want to correct it for the public record that it is Kenichi Wilson who was uh, recommended for payment. Okay. That is fine. Okay. Yes, agreed. Thank okay. you. <laughs>